the, the market actually disappeared in the early 1950s when the industry, it's called vertical integration, it integrated quickly in a couple of years and it's essentially the most integrated uh, industry uh, in agriculture. The, the feed mills who became processors integrated upstream into production with the growers. The processor <coughs> has so-called contracts with growers, but the processor owns the bird. They have the feed mills, they own the feed. They determine who will be a grower, where the grower will be located. They make most of the decisions about when chicks will be placed, how many chicks, what feed they will get, when they will be picked up for processing. <laughs> Monopsony is a mirror image or almost a mirror image of monopoly that's on the buyer side. So in a strict sense, monopsony means there is a single buyer. And in the poultry industry, it is an extreme case because even though the grower has a so-called contract with an integrator, there is no negotiation over that, that you would have in a competitive market. They go borrow the million bucks and the integrator and the banker will tell them you're not going to have much left over for family living when you pay off this 7, 12, 15 year loan for a million dollars. But then after you get it paid off, you're going to make lots of money. And what happened starting in the mid 90s is they required the growers to get new, more expensive equipment. So the growers had to go back to the bank, get another loan, and they were right back into the debt cycle. Mm -hmm. uh, and almost never, most of them didn't escape. Mm -hmm. To say that the poultry contract takes the risk out of production is a bunch of baloney. <laughs>